the repel seat. All right, you're going to go ahead and find the middle of your sling rope. You do this by finding both ends of your sling rope, milking it down until you find the center. You're going to go ahead and form a bite and place that bite on your left hip. From there, you're going to go ahead and make an overhand with one additional wrap. You're going to pull that tight, ensuring that it's above your hips and below your ribs. With both ends of the rope, you're going to go ahead and place them under your legs. And you're going to go ahead and insert them from top to bottom, ensuring that they're bisecting your pockets, creating two walking half hitches. You'll come back around to your left side, and you're going to tie a square knot where you initially had that bite at. Left over right, right over left. From here, you're going to create two overhands to lock down your square knot. Then you're going to go ahead and take your two steel ovals. You're going to place one in your left hand, one in your right hand. The one in your right hand, you're going to come from top to bottom, rotate it 180 degrees. Left hand, you're going to come from bottom to top, rotate it 180 degrees, ensuring that the open portions of your steel ovals are away from your body. You'll take your steel locker and go ahead and insert that into both steel ovals from left to right, rotate it 180 degrees. This is your rappel seat. Checkpoints must be tied within two minutes. You have an overhand knot with an extra turn, which is above the hips and below the ribs. Ropes do not cross between the legs. They're centered on the butt buttocks and bisect the pocket flaps and are tight. You have two locking half hitches on the rope around the waist. The square knot is po properly tied on the guide hand side. Tails are a minimum of four inches and are even within six inches. The two steel oval carabiners are inserted through both ropes around the waist at the front so the opening gates are opposite and opposed. The steel lock and carabiner is routed through both steel oval carabiners and is routed so that the spine side is facing your brake hand.